I'm Algernon Cash, and this is Eat Drink Triad. This is your leading source for everything happening with your local food and beverage community. If you are in my audience and you've been following me for any number of years, you know my favorite time of the year is Christmas. I love the holiday season. Don't get me wrong, I love summer too, because I love being outside and doing the summer thing, but I absolutely love Christmas. Thanksgiving is so much fun. I mean, simply because family comes together, you get to see friends. Um, Christmas is so much fun because you're obviously exchanging gifts and just getting to see people that you don't normally get to see. And the other great thing that happens around our town is you start to ride around and you see all these wonderful lights and the trees and just so many people getting into the um, just just the festivities of the holiday season. And so I wanted to help my audience um, learn some places that you can visit this season, um, places right here in your backyard. And so I have our, our local expert, Christy Bellis um, from Explore Winston-Salem. I know many people in my audience probably follow Explore Winston-Salem either on uh, Facebook or Instagram, or you may be subscribed to their newsletter, um, but you don't always get a chance to see Christy. So I, I feel special. We actually have Christy here live to talk to you about some of the must visit places that you have to go this season. Christy, how are you? I'm doing good. It's good to be here. Thanks for having me. Yes, thank you for, for, for joining us. Um, before we get into some of the places that you're going to suggest or, or recommend to the audience, just real quick, I know about Explore Winston-Salem. There's probably somebody out there listening today that doesn't know a lot about it. Talk a little bit about this brainchild that you've had that just sort of has blown up all, all over the community. It has blown up, that is for sure. So about a year ago, I, well, I moved to Winston a year and a half ago, and I've lived in big cities my whole life. I'm from DC. I went to Chapel Hill and I lived in Charlotte for a few years. And I moved to Winston because my husband got a job here and everyone was like, oh, that's going to be such a small town. There's probably not a lot to do. And when I moved here, I fell in love with it. It was a small town feel. There's parking places, which was new to me being from the big cities. And there is just so much to no pun intended, but explore. And so I created a fake Instagram account for fun so that I could keep track of where I went instead of blowing up my personal Instagram page. And just so I could remember, oh, I liked this hike or, oh, I liked this restaurant. And then before I knew it, it absolutely exploded. And I realized that there was no single resource for purely events in Winston, unless you followed every single Instagram or looked at people's websites every day. So I sought to create that. Um, and we, I quit my job in April. This is my full-time job now. So I guess we haven't even really been like a year. If you take it being full-time, it was just a fun hobby back then. But now we have a website, a newsletter, almost 15,000 followers on Instagram in a year and about three and a half a thousand um, followers on Facebook. Wow, uh, congratulations. Let me say that to you um, from, from me and, and, and on behalf of the audience. And, and I follow um, Explore Winston-Salem on Instagram and, and I, I do see a lot of the content you all share and um, it's really good content. And uh, you know, I'm from Winston-Salem, I, I was born and raised here, but even just following your page, I have learned some things about what's going on right here in my own backyard that I didn't know about. So, you know, I want my audience to catch what she said. You know, she took what started as a hobby and um, now it's her full-time job and she's pursuing her passion and um, doing it very well. So Christy, thank you again for all you're doing. Um, all right, let's get into the list, man. Um, what are some of the must visit places during the holiday season right here in Winston-Salem? Yeah, so if you've lived in Winston or even, you know, live in the nearby towns, you know Tanglewood Lights and you know that old Salem gets decorated and all festive for the holidays. So we are going to talk about some places that you might not know about that might not get as much marketing or as hype as say the Tangle and Lights Festival. So a few, we are the city of arts and innovation. So I um, have to include some um, musical productions and theater events that are happening. So Elf the Musical, if you are a fan of Buddy the Elf, I know it is my favorite <laughs> holiday movie. I laugh probably every 30 seconds. He's just such a good character. But it is coming to the Theater Alliance. That will be December 16th, 21st. And you can, um, tickets are on sale now. You can go ahead and purchase that. And also the Nutcracker um, is returning to live performance 
performance at the Stevens Center. That is December 10th to 19th with tickets as low as $25. And just a little tip about that. Across the street, there's Ginger Fox Beverage and they will, it's a new cocktail um, uh, bar on the scene and they will have a special nutcracker cocktail that they are creating for these nine days, nine, 10 days. So go across the street, have a cocktail and then head on over to watch the nutcracker after. I love the Nutcracker. Um, so one of the first uh, plays that I, I really ever saw was the Nutcracker. One, one of my first really fun dates, my first official date that I went on as a, as a teenager, um, I took a young lady to see the Nutcracker and we had dinner at Cafe Piaf. And um, I, I thought I was, I thought I was a big, big wig in town that, that night. Yeah. But, um, the, the, the Nutcracker is great. Um, Winston-Salem Symphony does a great job. Um, and and I, I agree, I love live performances. And this is such a great time of the year to, to go out with the family, grab dinner, go catch a show, maybe even go grab a cup of coffee at a local cafe right after. Um, what else do you have for us, Christy? Yeah, so if you are, you have a family, whether grandkids coming into town or you have little ones yourself, there are a bunch of farms on the outskirts of Winston-Salem that have a variety of activities at each place. You know, some range from s'mores, you can write letters to Santa, farm animals, hot chocolate, tractor rides, hay rides. I mean, I could go on and on. Christmas trees, um, crafts, all of those things. And three of those places that I'm gonna highlight um, are Smith Hollow Farm, that this event, Christmas holiday event, is going on this Saturday and Sunday and December 11th and 12th. Christmas at Red Hound Farms, which if I remember correctly is on the outskirts of Clemens, that is every Friday and Sunday until Christmas. So if you have family coming into town, grandkids or something like that, that is a great one to take them to. You can actually feed the animals there as well. And then Mary Mishma, which is at the Fairy Tale Farm Animal Sanctuary. You can have hay rides there. There's also a little holiday market and the Grinch will also be making a visit. And that is this Sunday. Sunday and next Saturday. So those are some farms. You know, you can also go get trees at local places. It's always fun. Grab a cup of coffee, um, make it a whole evening. I, I really like that recommendation, Christy. That's strong. It actually calls me to, to think back to when my, my daughter, who is now at college, she's at ECU. Um, but when she was little, she's a baby. We, we went down to a little farm in Denton, North Carolina, which is right outside the triad. And um, they have a Christmas train and this train goes all over the farm. I am telling you, it was freezing out there. The best part of the whole trip was when they brought out the free um, hot cider. And, um, but, but, you know, she had a blast that night and uh, there's a ton of kids out there. And obviously the parents had a great time too. I really, really like that idea because I think living in Winston-Salem, sometimes we do forget about the, the many farms that we have in our community. And there's a lot of families, quite frankly, that depend on you to come out and visit these farms um, because they can also count on that revenue. And we, we should support them like we support all our local um, locally owned businesses. What else do you have for us? Yeah, so um, Kernersville is actually the hot spot for Christmas. They have so many events going on. A bunch are actually happening this weekend, but they have two really big ongoing events that I'm really excited about. One is Kerner's Folly, which if you have lived in the area for a while, you know that the 22 rooms of Kerner's Folly are full on decorated in Christmas. I mean, I, I got a sneak peek of it last week and my jaw was just dropped the whole entire time. I walked into each room and I went, whoa, whoa, this one's my favorite. No, this one's my favorite. I couldn't decide. They were all so wonderful. So that is open Monday through Sunday, I believe. They might be closed on Sunday. I'm not sure. We're going to have to double check on that, but that is wonderful. They do have candlelight tours that it's a special one at night. The whole house is lit with candles, but don't put that down because it's already sold out for the rest of the year. <laughs> oh man, you, you, you must have... You you must have knew. I was right. I was already writing it down. I was like, I'd never been to that before. <laughs> so oh, the man. candlelight tour, the candlelight tour is sold out, but you can still visit during the regular hours. It's just those special nights that's after hours. <laughs> so you can still visit. Maybe you can hold an imaginary candle. I don't know. Um, and then also in Kernersville are the botanical gardens. Now the botanical gardens. They, last year, I believe it was tulips that they lit up. So they put backlight or 
lights in them. I don't exactly know how it works. All I know is that it's beautiful and you walk through and it's like a, a light show, but with flowers and trees, um, really beautiful. So you could go to Kerner's Folly before and then head to the Botan Botanical Gardens and the Kernersville Museum also has a little small ice skating rink. So that is activities for three and a half straight hours. <laughs> You'd be done for the day. You need a nap after. But those are three great places to go to in Kernersville. And it's so close to us, Kernersville, depending on where you live in Winston, it could be 10 minutes from you. No, I, I like that one a lot. And I, I want to throw out a plug for um, my, my good friend, Chef Trey Prescott, who owns the Prescott in Kernersville. Mm -hmm. um, they were um, one of my restaurants of the week and um, amazing food, um, great menu, and, and would be great for you to go visit them. Um, as you go visit um, Kerners Folly and some of the other activities going on in Kernersville. You know, Christy, I can tell you've got so much passion for what you do. Um, I've got to get ready to wrap up. I hate that we got to lose you. Um, tell me, tell my audience, how, how much time do you put into researching all these various events and things that are happening in our backyard? That's a really hard question because I'm just constantly doing it. I try to be on Instagram at least once every hour because there's lots of small, you know, farms that aren't necessarily promoting out the wazoo. They don't have a large marketing budget or they might just put an event on Facebook and that's it. So I try my hardest to find all those smaller places. You know, if, if a business has a large following on Instagram, we're going to see it naturally because of the whole algorithm and everything. <laughs> um, but I try to be on there at least once every hour to catch those small events that are happening that I think make Winston-Salem and the surrounding area very special. But the, my job, I, I mean, it's, I'm an entrepreneur. It's a startup. I work about 60 hours a week. <laughs> Now that that's awesome, and and and, I, and for my audience, I want you to know, it, you know, it's not the the farms, and the restaurants, and and the you know the the numerous places that Christy highlights to explore Winston Salem. They're not paying for this. This is not you know driven by them. You know, paying a fee for her to talk about them. This is just something she does because she's really passionate about our community and and wants um, these places to shine and she wants you to connect with great opportunities and experiences and she's spending a lot of her time and energy to do it and so i strongly strongly encourage you to go follow her follow explore winston salem that is on instagram it's on facebook and they also have a newsletter so you can go to the website is that explore winston salem.com or what's it's the website it's explore winston nc Dot, dot. And, and so you can <laughs> sign up for the newsletter at the website yes you can sign up for the newsletter at all different spots Awesome. And, and then we're going to have her back here because I'm sitting here listening to her. She's, she's, she's great on, on radio. She knows what she's talking about. She's got the content down. So I want my audience, you're, I'm going to get Christy back on here again. Um, we're probably going to try to do this regularly and just let her come on and talk to you a little bit about what's going on in the, in the backyard and some of the great work that they are doing at Explore Winston-Salem. So again, go support Explore Winston-Salem. Christy, before I let you go, do you have any closing comments you want to make or I'm sorry, I didn't prepare for the sun to move. <laughs> that is my closing comment. But no, I hope that everyone has a great holiday season that you support local. It's so easy to just go onto Amazon, but really take the time to go to a local shop. I mean, when you're driving home from work, just stop in at a place. You are making their dreams come true. You are helping them get presents for their family. Um, so just support local and get out and explore. I mean, this time last year, we weren't able to. Um, so really take advantage of that and just spend time with family and friends and have a very Merry Christmas. Uh, that's an excellent message. Thank you for sharing that. And also to my audience, um, I really appreciate you supporting Eat Drink Triad. Um, this is something that we work on constantly to try to help you connect um, with what's happening with the food and beverage community right here in your backyard. I want you to start making sure you stay tuned to the local vibe on CW. They're going to be having me on regularly, highlighting some great restaurants that you can visit throughout the region. You can always listen to WTOB every single week. You'll hear my, my restaurant pick of the week if you're looking for a new place to go every single week. And we also are on Instagram. We're not as big as Explore Winston State. We got a lot of work to do, um, but we also are on Instagram. You can go follow Eat, Drink, Triad on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. And as always, until next time, y'all stay locked in. <laughs>